Thanks for reminding me. Um, okay, so sit up straight and tall and close your eyes and think about uh, the ways in which your practice supports you. And it could be physical, you know, the, the ways that your practice makes your body feel healthy and supple, mobile and free, grounded. And perhaps it's emotional. Maybe your practice helps you to be present, to feel steady. Maybe it helps support depression or anxiety. Maybe it helps you to feel glass half full, a little more optimism, a little more gratitude in your life. And then mentally, all the ways our practice um, trains our mind. To not only be present, but to be aware of the chatter and to be aware of the way our mind um, can, can take that unconscious path, can take us for a ride, and that our practice, even off the mat, our practice can ground us into the present and have a wide gap between an impulse to react and uh, our choices to choose how we act instead of react. So many more things. These are just what's coming to my mind. Whatever is coming to your awareness about what your practice offers you, let's have deep gratitude for, have gratitude for yourself because it requires discipline and it requires showing up onto your mat. It requires um, will and the effort to be here. So let's offer deep gratitude to ourselves for the ways we support ourselves. And the next time you find yourself drifting away from your mat for whatever reason or any other personal practices that support your well-being, Remember that you can come and do five minutes of yoga. You can come onto your mat and just do shavasana in a way that's very present. That your practice doesn't have to carve out an hour of your time. It can be in small little increments. So if your energy or your time isn't supporting your capacity to be in your practice, remember just a little bit can go a long way. All right, now feel into this moment. Drop into the awareness of your body. See if you can start at your crown and work downward, feeling that sense of ease, like you can kind of allow a waterfall to come through your body, dropping anything you no longer need, tension that's no longer needed. Let it drop into the earth. Give yourself that sense of grounding. Then be aware of your posture, open things up, support yourself. And with the uh, change that you might've just made, the shift to support good posture, breathe now and feel the fullness of a deep inhale and the completeness of a long exhale. Let this next breath that you have bring you into the present. Be here now. As you inhale, feel the presence of your body, mind, breath. And as you exhale, relax into that presence. As often as you can remember through your practice, become aware of your breathing. Bring your hands to your heart and bow in. What intention would you like to set for the day for yourself? And 
relax your hands and let's find our way onto our mat. So as you lie down on your back, let's enjoy a sense of what it feels like to have um, space in your spine, length in your spine. And reach your arms overhead, stretch the left side, stretch the right side, see if you can feel into the awakening in the body. Enjoy moving your pelvis up and down on one side. So stretch the right leg far away, stretch the left side far away. Do you feel the two sides of your pelvis moving as well? All right, and then bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a hug. Rock a little bit, swaying side to side, feeling a sense of ease across your back. And let's circle. Circle the knees, go one direction. Big breaths. Circle your knees, go the other direction. Full breaths. Open up your knees away from each other and back in. You just not only feel how this makes your inner thighs and your hips, but just notice your back as well, your sacroiliac joints. All right, and then put your feet down on the mat, arms straight out to the sides. You can have your feet hip width or wider. And let's just rock left and right with our knees. So windshield wipering our knees a little bit, coming to an awareness of your side bodies, your back body, feel into your breath, keep your neck relaxed. You can turn your head in opposition of your knees if you'd like. And relax in neutral, feet hip width apart. Just let your body sink into the ground. Melt the head, melt the pelvis. Let the femur bones drop into the pelvis. Feel a sense of ease through your shoulders. Awareness of your body, awareness of your breath. And then take your right knee into your chest, give it a good snug up hug and stretch your left leg long. Feel free to move around in your feet, wiggle your toes, roll around in your ankles, breathing well. And then second side, left knee comes in, right leg long on the ground. Feel free to move your feet, move your toes, move your calves, feel free to Sense into the length of your crown and tail. And then bring both knees into your chest. Pick up your head, snug up hug. Inhale, open big and wide. Exhale, draw it in. Enjoy the movement of your spine. Open your legs and arms out. Exhale, draw down and round the spine. Put your head back down onto the ground. Right knee comes into your chest. Grab your strap. You're gonna wrap the strap around your right foot and lift that leg straight up in the air. Take your femur bone, your right thigh bone back. Straighten up through your leg. See what it feels like to lift your heel high to the sky and drop your femur bone down to the earth. Now, while you're here, flex and point your toe so you can get some awareness into um, the, what's happening in your lower leg. So, of course, it feels good to stretch, but also just be aware of how nice it feels to be aware, to find presence in your cells, to be aware of each little part of your body. Okay, let's take the right strap in the right hand. Let's open up the leg out to the right. Feeling a sense of openness through the inner thigh, the inner hamstring. Be very mindful of what's happening around your knee and your sit bone. You want to have the belly of the muscles feeling the most of the stretch. Ground into the left side of your body. Feel the weight of your head. Come into the fullness of your breath again. All right, reach that right leg straight back up again. Open up the hamstrings. Now we're going to take the strap into the left hand, cross over. Right leg comes over to the left. Feel free to put the right 
the heel of your right hand in your hip crease and press away if you want. Feel the length of your spine, the heaviness of your head, the softness of your shoulders. How's your breath? Can you feel the fullness? Can you feel the complete exit? Full exhale. Okay, lift that leg straight back up again, two feet into the strap. And now notice what your two sides feel like, uh, you know, when you've done some work with one side and not with the other. And then take that right foot out. Right foot can be on the ground or right leg can be on the ground. Left leg, uh, foot is in the strap. Stretch up through your foot, root down through your hip. Feel the fullness of that stretch, not only in the hamstrings and calf, but also through the spine. Can you feel the full length, crown to tail, all the way to your right foot if it's straight on the ground, if your leg is straight on the ground. Keep your neck and shoulders relaxed. Keep the weight of your head down. Feel free to point and flex your foot if you feel so inclined. Once again, just enjoying sensation. All right, let's open up the left leg out to the left, feeling that sense of spaciousness. Lengthen through your crown all the way to your foot. Open up your body. Stretch through the inner foot, feel your breath. Let that leg, left leg straight up in the air again. Cross the left leg over to the right. Feel into the movement of the body. So stretch into the foot, move your hip back away from your shoulder. Breathing well. Melt the head again. Keep the weight of your shoulders and head. Find your breath. All right, when you're ready, lift that leg back up. And lower it down to the ground. Let's go ahead and bring uh, an awareness of your legs on the ground. So just notice, are you more present in the body? Is there more sensation, more aliveness of your awareness of your body? It's one of the wonderful things of our practice is just the sense of embodiment. Okay, draw your knees into your chest, pick up your head. One more stretch to go before we get up. So either cross right thigh over left thigh and feel a hip stretch by pulling your knees toward your chest or come into reverse pigeon pose with your right foot on your left knee and draw your left leg toward your chest. So you can hold behind your hamstring or, your, or the front of your shin. Either pose, just allow your body to feel into the hip opening. Heaviness in your head again, softness in your shoulders. Find your breath. And then let's change sides, either left thigh over right thigh, or put your left foot on your right knee. Be active through your foot if you're in reverse pigeon pose. You can be passive with your feet if you're in thigh over thigh pose. Hold on to the shin or the thigh in reverse pigeon. Hold on to your knees or your shins in thigh over thigh. Heaviness in your head. Breathe deeply and fully. release that. Stretch your arms and legs wide on the ground. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Roll your wrists and ankles. Open and close your fists. On your next exhale, draw your knees in. Pick up your head. Oh, your breath out. And then come rolling over onto your side and come up onto your hands and your knees. All right, so find your way into uh, onto all fours and start moving through some cat cows. So some arching of the back, some rounding of the spine, taking your time to feel into the fullness. 
kind of working up the body. You know, we opened up the legs and the hips. We're opening up the spine. Just feel into the range of motion that's available. Sync up your breath with your mobility. And then let's move around any way you want to move around. You can wag your tail. You can feel into that sense of rolling through your shoulders or your neck. And now let's just get some giant movement in our rib cage. So start with a neutral flat back, and then we're going to drop our chest down over to the left, up to the sky, over to the right, and back down. So just feel into that sense of full range of motion of your rib cage. Notice what your breath wants to do. See if you can keep some steady rhythm of breathing. Change directions when you're ready. And then let's drop down towards child's pose. Take the arms out in front of you. Feel into the breath. And left. Stretch your arms out far for a beautiful long child's pose. Relax your neck. Soften your jaw. Let your face melt. Breathe deeply and fully and let it travel into the back of your body. Let's walk the hands over to one side. Feel the stretch in your rib cage, the openness. Feel it in your low back, perhaps. This gap between your ribs and your pelvis. Let your neck be soft and relaxed. Come over to the other side. Inch your hands over, drop your weight into your pelvis, drop that sit bone down. Breathe into the ribs, open up the full side body, keep your neck neutral. All right, come back up on tall fours. One more time, move in your rib cage and your pelvis around. Let's find our twist. Right arm lifting up to the sky, big open chest. Exhale, slide that shoulder down. So breathe your way here. Softness in your skull. Relax your neck, gaze downward. Breathing fully and deeply. You're ready to lift that arm back up to the sky. Hand comes down onto the ground, second side. Arm lifting up, deep breath, exhale, slide it underneath. Feel the shoulders open up in the back. Feel the shoulder blades spread out. Feel the breath travel into the back lung. Keep your neck neutral. And then let's find our way up with the arm again. Hand comes down onto the ground. Lift up into dog pose. Curl toes under. Enjoy this pose. So, you know, we've traveled from the feet all the way up through the body. Now let your neck be the final thing that you loosen and let go. Melt through your eyes. Let your tongue be slack. Soften your jaw. You can open and close your mouth. You can stick your tongue way out. Give a little stretch and then melt. Keep your neck neutral and soft. Breathing into the hands, root to rise. Feel the openness of the full back body. When you're ready, let's walk our feet forward. Come into Uttanasana. Take your hands at the base of your skull and just a slight little tuck in. Chin toward chest, a little pressure of pulling your head toward your sternum. Relax. Inhale for a halfway lift. Melt and fold again. Drop your seat, lift your chest, rise up. We've been down for a while, so give yourself a moment to ground yourself in a standing posture. Feel the roots of your feet. Soften your knees. Breathe well. 
Take a deep breath. Arms lifting up a little bit of the back bend here. Reach back just a bit. Look up if you want to, and then cactus your arms open up through your spine, your shoulder blades, your chest, and then release your arms down. Give your hands a good shaking. And then we're going to bring our arms up one more time. Cross the left arm over the right arm. Drop your shoulders. Okay. Feel the stretch across the tops of your shoulders. Lift your elbows. Feel your chest broaden, your collarbones stretch wide. Stay grounded in your posture with your stance. So are your knees soft? Do you feel four points of contact with each foot? And then release. Arms coming up, change sides. Now our right arms on top, drop the shoulders. Elbows a little bit lifted and pulled away, but not so much where you sink it, you have a sunken chest. Still broad and open across your collarbones and sternum. Okay, and then relax that. Big arms up and bring them around. Grab onto the right wrist with the left hand, a little bit of a tug, but not so much where your shoulders come offline. And lift the right ear up, up, up. So you find that sense of stretch through the side of your neck. Feel free to lift your chin, drop your chin, move around slowly, breathe deeply. And change sides. Reach down with the other arm, a little bit of a tug on that wrist so that you feel that traction and then lift your ear up toward the sky. Feel free to lift your chin, to drop your chin, any movement you want. You can touch your teeth, you can loosen your teeth. All right, and then relax that hands and nose shake, shrug your shoulders up. And then release them down. All right, take your feet a little wider and let's twist the body now. So we've, you know, done a lot to wake up a lot of parts of our body and become embodied. Now let's let the spine have its rotation. So feel free to move your feet. So lift up your heel, let your hips follow. Feel free to do whatever you want with your arms. We're gonna take this into some different movements in a moment, but start out you know, pretty passively with the arms and the legs. And now start to bring the arms wider and squat a little bit more. Breathing deep, slow or fast, or anywhere in the middle. Just find what feels good. Take your legs a little bit wider. Squatting and reaching your other arm up and over, breathing well as you go. So find this beautiful opening in your sides and then settle into a wide squat. Turn your toes to be in line with your knees, drop your hips down, elbows come inside or on top of your thighs. Stretch your spine, open up the inner thighs, Feeling that deep squat, press the four corners of your feet. And then we're gonna come and stand up with wide legs. Get your equilibrium, sometimes all that movement can make us a little dizzy. So ground yourself, be here now. Big breaths. Okay, widen your stance on your mat. So hopefully you're sideways on your mat now. So you want the long edge. All right, find your breath. We're gonna find our way. Grab a block if you know you like it for triangle pose because we're gonna do that in a moment. Let's flow and move through some of these standing poses. Arms up, deep breath. Mirror Vidasana too. Straighten arms and legs again. Breathe out. Zero two. Okay, this time we'll stay. Okay, so find your way. If you don't like your arms up, take them in any position that serves your body. You can have lots of different um, choices in this pose. Remember, your body's always asking for choice, always asking for efficiency. 
So find the path that feels really good in your body, that you feel grounded and strong and stable, that your breath is here with you. Okay, let's reverse that warrior, lift the arm up. Feel that side body stretch, straighten out your leg and tip your pelvis over to triangle pose. Grab a block under your hand if you'd like or put your hand on your leg somewhere. Feel into the stretch of this pose. Drop your weight into your back heel. Feel the fullness of the length of your spine. Move your shoulders away from the ears. Feel into the fullness of your breath. Into the grounding of your legs. When you're ready, bend your knee again. You can keep your hand on the block or put your elbow on your knee. Stretch into Parasokasana. Remember not to, to try to keep this back thigh. You want to draw it back. It's very common for us to kind of lean and push our pelvis forward to draw the thigh bone back. Stretch the arm if it feels comfy overhead. If not, put it in a place that feels better. Find your breath. Can you feel the weight of both feet ground into your legs? Okay, come back up. Let's turn our feet. We're just going to go do the same poses on the second side. So bring your block with you if you use it for triangle pose. Okay. Arms up, legs straight. Take a deep breath. Find your way into Virabhadrasana too. Inhale, straighten arms and legs. Exhale, flow into the posture. One more time, straighten the leg. Exhale, coming out, round. Feel the roots of your feet, root them into the earth. Feel the power of this pose, the sense of expansion, strength, will. There's so much power in this position. Feel free to move your neck a little bit differently if your neck doesn't like turning, it's okay. Find your breath, let your pelvis rotate if it needs to, keep the thigh bone moving back. Round to your legs. Feel your front heel push a little deeper into the floor. Light up the underside of that leg. When you're ready, reach the arm overhead. Find that reverse warrior. Breathe into the full side body. And when you're ready, straighten that leg and find your way into triangle pose, Chikanasana. Arm can come up in the air or your hand can stay on your hip. Shoulders move away from the ears. Feel into how your pelvis tips in this pose. So we're not trying to keep the pelvis square. We're dropping down into that side. See if you can allow the left femur bone to lift up into the, into the hip joint. Root into the feet, soften your knee. Find your breath. Ready? You can come out of that pose. Find your way into Parzo Kanasana. So you can have your elbow on your knee or you can keep it on the block. Perhaps your arm swings over your face and hip. Maybe your hand is better off on your hip or just straight out to the side. So find what works for you. Reach into the posture. Breathe well. Once again, grounding the legs, feeling the roots of your legs move into the earth. Power, strength, stability. Keep the neck soft, the shoulders are relaxed, the palms are relaxed. Full breaths into the sides of your body. Let's come out of that posture. We're going to turn to the front of your mat for a dog pose. Enjoy bringing your legs back to a neutral position. Once again, melt the head, root the legs. Feel the spread of the hands and the spread of the feet. 
feel the length and reach through your legs and your spine. Feel that sense of a pinnacle at your pelvis. Keep the neck neutral and soft. Let's come forward into a plank. Stretch the heels back. Integrate into the center of your body. Breathing well. Let's put the knees down. Find the earth. Roll the shoulders two times. As you're ready, a cobra pose. Chest opens up. Exhale. And melt to reach. Bring your arms wide. A little change of position. Stretch through your belly. Reach your legs. Stabilize. Keep your neck neutral. Come down when you're ready. Last cobra pose. Hands can come up off the floor or ground them. Whichever feels nice. Doesn't have to be very high. Feel the back body. Melt and fold. Up on tall fours. Move your spine about. Rock your hips side to side, breathing well. Sink back to a child's pose. Relax, be in your body, be in your mind. Settle into your breath. All right, let's come on to our forearms. Take your feet back. We're going to do a forearm plank here. You can always put your knees down on the ground if you need to. Stabilize through your core. Keep your neck relaxed. When you're ready, we're going to turn the hips to the right. Back to center. Turn the hips to the left. And come back to center. All right, put your knees down. Come up onto all fours. Swivel about in your spine and take your right leg straight back behind you. Find your breath, left arm out in front of you. Feel that, where is your stabilization coming from? When you're ready, bring your arm and leg out to the side, toes face the floor. Find the breath. Feel as if your hand and your foot can plug into your navel. And then come back to center, deep breath. Exhale, draw your elbow and knee underneath you. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, place it down. Move your spine around. Enjoy four points of contact, the ease that comes. So do you notice that when you come into a balance pose and then you come out of the balance pose, does something in your mind rest when there's more support? Let's go ahead and find your left leg straight out behind you, right arm out in front of you, thumb up, toes down. Integrate, hug your hand and your foot into your core. Find your breath. When you're ready, open out to the side. Even though we're cantilevering quite far away from our center, pull into your center from your hand and your foot. Find the breath, neck is neutral. Back to center you go, take a deep breath, exhale, elbow and knee come under you. Inhale, bring it out. Exhale, hand and knee down, child's pose. Relax into the comfort of the ground being so close by. Breathe well. All right, come up onto your knees. You might want to turn, if you are going to turn sideways on your mat, we're going to come into Basi Stasana, right hand, right knee, left foot, left arm comes up. Now I have my shin perpendicular. You can put your shin parallel. So whichever feels like what you desire to do today, shoulders away from the ears. And we're going to lift that leg in the air. Now I have a couch in the way, but find your way into a sense of stability as you press your shin into the ground. Open your breath. And then exhale and come back down onto all fours. We're gonna to move to the second side. Left hand, left knee, left foot, uh, right foot. Lift your right arm up in the air, shoulders down. Find your breath. You can have your um, left shin parallel or 
like kind of 45 degrees or 90 degrees. See what feels comfortable for your body. Lift that right leg in the air. Open the chest, feel your neck soften. Breathe into your core, hugging back to the core again. Find the breath. And then relax back to child's pose. Settle your hips toward your heels. Breathe. And when you're ready, find your way to a dog again. Stretch up through your spine. Full breaths in and out. All right, walk your feet forward. Come into Uttanasana. Relax your neck. Inhale for a halfway lift. Melt again. Relax your neck. Come up to stand. Reach the arms to the sky. Bring your hands down to the center of your heart. Pause here. Soften your knees. Breathe into the pelvic floor. Breathe all the way down to the soles of your feet. And just notice, are you more present in this moment and in your body than you were before class started? Put your hands down. Enjoy Tadasana. Breathe well. What is your practice offering you? Some of our gifts come with cum accumulation, you know, cumulative practice over time. Some of the gifts are immediate. All right, we're going to come into Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose, just getting us into our balance. Okay, so we're going to take our right foot and turn your toes out. I don't have a lot of room, but you can start in a full triangle pose or full Parsvokanasana and then uh, hop up into this pose, or you can start more narrowly like I am doing. Okay, find your breath. We're going to hop up onto that right foot, hand on a block. Be mindful of your support underneath your hand so it's, you know, you don't want to wobble off the block. Open up through your chest. Lift that leg in the air. Try not to hyperextend the knee you're standing on. Breathe your way into this pose. Let your breath be what gives you the space from your chest to your hands. Let your breath take you into your back heel. Keep your neck neutral. Strengthen from your core. We're hugging everything to the center. And then a big step, coming out of the pose. And then we're switching to the other side. Okay. So we're going to ground our left foot. You know, often we want a broader base of support for our, so our foot will want to turn, see if you can keep it anchored right where it is. Okay, bend your knee. Come out of your posture that you're in to come up into Ardha Chandrasana. Open up now. You can look at the ground the whole time, or you can turn your head and look straight ahead, or you can turn your head and look up. Okay, so be very mindful of grounding through your foot on the ground. Try not to hyperextend your knee. Open up through your breath. Feel the strength of that back leg. So your hips are working strongly. Your core is engaged. Find your breathing. Neck is soft. When you're ready, back out the way you came in. Come back to the front of your mat and find Tadasana. Enjoy the two feet on the ground, that sense of ease that comes when your mind says, oh, I'm grounded, I have support. Breathing well. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale and float. Let your neck relax. A halfway lift. Melting. Whatever foot you don't take back, usually take that one back first. Dog pose. Inhale. 
Inhale, come forward into a plank. Hold yourself steady. Turn your navel to the right. Chest faces the floor. Back to center. Turn your navel to the other side, to the left. Back to center. Lower yourself down. Find your breath. Take your legs a little wider apart. So feet touch the edges of your mat. Arms at your sides, down at your sides, or up overhead. Your choice. Inhale, lift everything up. Feel your back body engage from crown to tip of toes. Let your diaphragm rock you. You should move with the breath. Relax and melt. Let's roll over onto our left side. Bring your knees toward your chest a little bit more. Grab onto the top of your right ankle and then stretch that right knee back. So opening up the quads. Keep your neck neutral. You can always take a block under your head if you prefer that over your arm. Stretch your quads, tailbone toward the knee, pubic bone toward the belly button. Open across your chest, try to stack shoulders over shoulder, rib over rib, hip over hip. Okay, relax that. Let's roll over to our other side. Now we're lying down on our right. Grab on to your left ankle with your left hand and then stretch that left knee away from your chest. So we're lengthening our quadriceps. Heel comes close, your left heel comes close to your buttocks, wherever, however you get, however close you get. And if you can't reach your ankle, you can always use the straps. Remember, there's always props to help you if you need it. Elbow descends toward the knee, pubic bone toward the belly button. How's your breath? And melt. Come rolling onto your back. Find your feet hip width apart. You're going to lift up into a bridge pose. So climb onto the tops of the shoulders. Round your feet. Lift your pelvis. Full breaths here. Open up the rib cage. Full breathing. Keep your neck as neutral and passive as you can so we're not pressing our neck into the ground. Back of your head can have a little weight to protect your neck. Press the four corners of your feet. All right, let's melt our shoulders. Relax. Take your feet hip width apart or a little wider and windshield wiper your knees left and right. All right, straighten your left leg. Right knee is going to bend toward your chest. Now, this can be a big twist for a lot of people, so be very mindful. Right knee into the chest. We're going to cross the right leg over to the left. Right arm is stretching open. So if you need support underneath your right shin, you can put a block there. Stretch open across your chest. Enjoy the twisting. Maybe you want to turn your head to the right as well. Breathe into the openness of your pectoralis muscles and your chest. Enjoy the twist in your spine. Try not to let it go too deep. Okay, back to center. Change legs. Left knee hugging into your chest. And then we're going to take the right arm on the left knee, cross the left knee over, support underneath your left leg with a block if you need it. Stretch open through your chest. Uh, decide where you want your arms so you can play with having your left arm straight out like a T or traveling up more up like a Y. So you decide what uh, feels best. Um, your pectoralis muscles run in uh, three different directions, really, that kind of have fibers going in a lot of ways. And then your pec minor, you know, that Y position with your arm versus the T will stretch that more. So just see what it feels like, where you are. Breathe, let the head be heavy. 
and then come back to center. Spread your limbs wide like a star. Deep breath. Exhale, knees into your chest. Chin thumbs up. Relax your head down. Find happy baby pose. Grab onto your feet. Press your knees downward. Press your feet upward into your hands. Feel free to rock a little bit left and right. Just opening up the back of your body. Full breaths. And release your feet. Now you have a choice of many poses. We're going to do a hip stretch. So pigeon pose, reverse pigeon pose, or the thigh over thigh pose we did in the beginning of class. And so we're going to take, um, if you're in pigeon pose, feel free to take a blanket um, or two or whatever you need to find this posture. Right leg's going to be first. So if you're in reverse pigeon, right foot on left knee. Find your way into the posture, lift up through your spine if you're in pigeon pose, and then lengthen forward. If you're on your back, rest the weight of your head. If you're on your front, let a block support your head. Square up the hips, widen the sit bones, relax your shoulders. Once again, feeling into the fullness of your breath. When you're ready, you can come up, change sides, square hips, long spine. If you're on your back, rest your head. Okay, feel that sense of balance across your pelvis. Find your way into the depths of your posture. your way out of there whenever you're ready. We're going to find our way into a supported, um, just a little bit supported. You can do more support if you'd like. And have a moment in Supta Baddha Konasana before we come into Shavasana. Soles of the feet together. I'm going to lay just flat on the ground with a block underneath each thigh. You can do more support than this if you feel so inclined. So do what feels good to you. Uh, now that we've kind of moved through the paces in our body and you know, we have moved our spine in all directions, we've moved our legs in lots of directions, our chest, our lungs, you know, we've opened things up and gotten present. Enjoy your presence.
practice. Your yoga breathing. So, you know, we spend a lot of time moving our bodies in different positions. Let's take a moment to offer the gift of our practice into our breathing, presence with our breathing. Have that ujjayi breath where there's a slight, slight constriction in the back of the throat. breath down. Right now, if you're on your back, pick up your knees and knock your knees together and let your feet go wider than your knees. Slight internal rotation, take your feet wider than your hips and bring your knees together. Stay with your breath. Now choose the pathway to Shavasana. What does your body need? Want to bring the knees to your chest and walk around? Would you like to do a happy baby or a twist? Are you ready to just stretch and release your body into the ground? So do whatever feels good for this last little bit. There's no rules. There's no right way to enter Shavasana. Follow the intuition of your body. Ask your body. As you prepare for Shavasana, if you're cold, get warm. If you need support, take it. Uh, do whatever's needed so that your Shavasana feels comfortable and really good. You're settled, let your weight take over. Body drop. Release tension. Come into the awareness of your breath.
Bring yourself into the a full big breath. Eventually, perhaps a big stretch and bring your knees to your chest. Your side. Come on. To sit. Just learning to meet the gift of your practice. Let's have gratitude. Have gratitude for yourself for bringing yourself into your practice. together and offer our practice out into the center of care, your energy to another. Namaste. Thank you everyone. Hope you have a wonderful day.